In this short Excel video, I'm going to show you how to hide the formulas that you use in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. So as you probably know, in Excel, if you double click on a cell that has a formula inside it, the formula becomes visible to you within the cell and also here in the formula bar. I'm gonna tap escape to get back to the results view. Now it's just showing the results of the formula. Now this is generally perfect. I want my cells to show the results of the formula, but I also want the formula to be there and I want to be able to edit it by double clicking, making the change here or in the formula bar. In most cases, that's perfectly fine. But there are times when you might want to hide your Excel formulas. What if you share this spreadsheet with another person who isn't very familiar with Excel? They might think this is simply a number. They may not realize that these are actually formulas that are showing results of the formula. Also, there may be cases in which you just want to hide the formula. You don't want people to be able to see the formula that you have composed in a particular cell. So to hide the formula, just click on the cell that has the formula. In my case, I'm gonna click and drag to select multiple cells. Each of these has a different formula in it. And then I can just right click and choose Format Cells. When I click, it takes me here. Now there is another way to get to the same place with the cell or range of cells that has formulas in it selected. Just go to the Home tab, Home ribbon. In the Cells group, there's a Format button. Just click on it and choose Format Cells. And we get several tabs. I'm gonna go over here to the Protection tab and I'm just gonna make sure that Hidden is checked and Locked is unchecked. I'll click OK. Now if I click away to deselect that range, it looks like nothing changed. It's like like nothing really happened. If I double click on, let's say, this cell here, I can still see the formula and I can also see it here in the formula bar. So what good was that change? It didn't seem to do anything. The reason it didn't is that there's one more step I have to take to effectively hide those formulas. I need to go up here to the Review tab and click Protect Sheet. And here I can password protect this sheet if I want to. Click OK. It wants me to confirm my password by typing it one more time just to make sure. I click OK. And now look what happens when I click on a cell that is actually a formula that is producing these results. I don't see the formula even if I double click. If I look up here in the formula bar, I don't see the formula. Now with these other cells that I did not click and drag to select, these cells also have formulas in them, but when I select them, I can see the formula here in the formula bar. So that's the difference between hiding and not hiding formulas. Now even though these formulas are hidden, notice that I can still erase the data and replace it. I can edit it. And so that's why sometimes it makes sense to not only hide formulas, but also lock cells. Now to really show this to you, I have to select that range and go up here to unprotect the sheet. And I need to put in the password that I set up for it. Click OK. And now I can go back in to format cells, protection. And this time I'm going to lock and hide that range. Click OK. Next, just like before, I need to protect the sheet, put in a password if I want to. Click OK, confirm that password, click OK. And now, not only are my formulas hidden, but if I double click on a cell, I get a warning. If I just click on a cell and tap delete or backspace, I get that same warning. Excel is hiding the formulas and is preventing me from making any changes to them. So that's how you can hide your Excel formulas and also how you can lock them in order to protect them from being changed accidentally. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video. And you can support me also through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you and your support. Thank you.